prosecutor deranged Jack Smith is in a very big hurry. I mean, this guy is working so hard. He's a crooked guy, deranged Jack Smith. He's a prosecutor. They brought him out to try and do damage. But, and he's done a lot of damage to a lot of people. And he's been overturned by the United States Supreme Court unanimously. But he always fails because he goes too far. He's, a, he's an animal. But he's not allowed to say why. But the reason has been obvious all along. He wants Trump to be tried and convicted so that we get hurt for the November 5th date. And he's not going to hurt us because this is turn my poll numbers today are much higher than they were three months ago because of the our poll, our it's actually our poll because we're all in this thing together. We're all in this mess together. <laughs> we're going to straighten this country out. We cannot let this injustice stand. And that's why I will fight crooked Joe Biden's weaponized persecution at every step. And we will win. We're going to win. This is going to be the biggest win ever. This is going to be bigger than 2016. Be bigger than 2016. Donald Trump portrays prosecutors as deranged and intertwines this with Democratic convictions about prejudices in legal and political realms, especially against figures like himself. He positions himself as a victim of unjust prosecution, aiming to shape public opinion about alleged mistreatment by law enforcement. Trump's commitment to combat what he sees as crooked Joe Biden's weakened practice reflects democratic values, challenging perceived political bias. His declarations of unity and determination to fight for this country highlight a belief in collective action against perceived threats. Amidst his battle against perceived persecution, Trump's defense of his beliefs may be seen as sincere by the public.